I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I don't like to leave any dye behind. We have here a dye bath with, goodness, probably five or six tablespoons of white vinegar. And I have just added uh, about a quarter teaspoon of Jacquard Brilliant Blue that had been dissolved in around a cup or so of water. The dye bath is still warm, and as I said, there's a lot of acid. But we're now gonna add some pre-soaked Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight Yarn. It's cool enough that I can add my hands in it to move it a bit. This is a um, non-superwash yarn, so I do not want to move it too, too much. But I thought it would be fun to create like a nice tonal, semi-solid type yarn. And I just turned on the heat. Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight Yarn is 100% Peruvian Highland wool and we've added 100 grams of the yarn to the pot. Now, I was checking today and it appears that one quarter teaspoon of the Brilliant Blue dye is approximately uh, 0.6 or 0.7 grams. So that means that we're probably at a uh, 0.6 or 0.7 percent DOS or depth of shade for this color. But I know it'll give us a really brilliant blue. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, I couldn't help myself, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's definitely color in the pot, and we're going to need to give this some time. I did add one of my removable zip ties onto the yarn as an extra tie. It helps keep things from getting tangled, um, but also you can use these a lot to pick up the yarn, and I find them really handy. If you'd like to learn more about any of the materials that I'm using in this video, uh, you can find affiliate links in the video description. I have the heat on medium right now, but I really don't want to get this to a rolling boil, but staying below a low simmer would be ideal. So I'm going to come back in about 30 minutes, but I'm going to poke my head in and check it periodically to make sure it's not too hot or to see how uh, we're doing with exhausting the dye. After 25 minutes, we're at more of a rolling boil, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. Let's take a look. Looks like our color has mostly cleared. There's definitely a little hint of blue left in the pot, but I am gonna leave this in here to cool completely. Um, which I know from using this color earlier today should allow the rest of the color to absorb. I have to say I am thrilled with how potent this color is. The Jacquard Sky Blue that I had at the very beginning of my acid dye adventures is not as saturated or pigmented as this one. And if I wanted to achieve this kind of color depth, uh, with the sky blue, I think I would need to use more than a 1% DOS. A couple hours later, and the pot is almost completely cool, but one thing we can say is that the water has cleared, so I can now set this yarn aside for it to finish cooling and get to room temperature, and then we can go wash it. It's time to wash our beautiful semi-solid tonal yarn. Um, I want to be gentle, but we have cooled completely. Um, I think when I'm dry, or I think when the yarn is dry, it'll be a little easier to tell uh, how much uh, tonal variation there is in this. But to be honest, given that it was warm when it went in and there was a fair amount of acid, I am rather impressed by how even the coverage is here. Now granted, I moved it around a lot, which helps things bind more evenly. I'm now adding some just soap. Uh, I'm using cold tap water for the rinse, but I want to see if there's any bleeding. It looks like though we are in luck and all the color is in the yarn. I'm going to carefully rinse out this soap, uh, put the yarn through my spin dryer, and then hang it up to dry and we'll come back for some confusion. This blue is beautiful. I am honestly really impressed with how solid this yarn is. It's definitely a semi-solid, but given the highish concentration of acid, I was expecting the colors to strike a little bit slower, even though this is a non-superwash yarn. 
Now sure, there's some paler portions that you can sort of see around the ties, but these color, the color variation is so, so subtle and it's awesome. I get a lot of questions about adding wool to hot yarn and people being concerned about felting. And I even moved this around in the pot and this yarn is not felted at all. In general, when fibers are hot, they start to sort of bloom a little bit and then there's a little more risk that felting can happen. So if you have something in the washing machine and there's a lot of agitation, you will absolutely get felting but a little gentle movement inside a dye pot isn't gonna hurt it. I honestly think that the place where more people run into felting issues with yarn dyeing is during the washing process. If you are too vigorous with wringing out the yarn, rubbing it to get out any excess dye, if there is any, that's a place where you can get a lot of felting. And so that's a place where I urge for the most amount of caution when it comes to yarn dyeing. But no, adding uh, wool to a hot pot, even a boiling pot, won't immediately cause felting. You do need that agitation aspect in there as well. Of course, I haven't tested leaving yarn in boiling water for like 12 hours. And so if with long periods of time, if there's bubbles, that very subtle agitation could cause some felting. So I don't wanna completely disregard the concerns, but um, I, I'm very, very happy with the quality of the yarn that comes out of my videos. I am so happy with this blue color. And we could up the saturation of this color so much. This was probably only around 0.7 grams of dye on 100 grams of yarn. And look at this intense color. So this shows that you might need to use only a tiny amount of dye if you want a pastel. This is definitely not a pastel. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, like, turn on notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Your engagement is the best way that you can support the content on this channel. Of course, if you'd like to go a little further, you can go and check out the Chemnitz Patreon, um, there's some really, really cool perks, and I'll leave a link in the video description and iCard. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.